Welcome in, Tara here, and today I'm playing my favorite PS1 game. You've maybe heard of it, some dude from Japan remade it for PS4 a while back, but for real, you know what this is. I'm sitting down for the first time with Lilith Walther's PlayStation 1 style Bloodborne demake. Been wanting to play through this since it publicly dropped like, I don't know, a week ago, and while doing so, I thought why not turn on the mic and capture this. So. Uh, walked around in circles for a few minutes in Yosefka's clinic to get the retro graphic sliders just how I want them. Uh, everyone's going to have different preferences, and Lilith somehow as a one-person team puts so much thought and effort into these retro settings. Uh, warping, dithering, jittering, noise intensity, uh, pixel softness, all in addition to a really great CRT filter. This is a fantasy experience, I would say, for any fan of Bloodborne or retro gaming fan in general. You can actually make things look pretty sharp and smooth. You'll see I have us a little more on the chunky side with this nice CRT frame, and I appreciate how this project really shows how, I don't know, retro aesthetics aren't all about nostalgia, you know, that this kind of visual style is artistically interesting in and of itself. Lots of 80s and 90s games of all genres have aged pretty gracefully. So I'm excited about that, uh, about this kind of art style getting the attention it deserves. I think I saw like 100,000 people have downloaded this since it released, that's crazy. But let's get into it. I already love this fog. Does this opening ever get old? I don't think so. With a contract. This is probably my favorite opening of any Soulsborne game. All right. So, yeah, we got male, female voice, so do that yeah I kind of looked at this when I fired it up so I have some sense of what I'm gonna do here uh, yeah we want the mask and I think we have wrinkles or baby face we're gonna be baby faced or a younger hunter uh, I think we do have brown hair though so can I get brown that's magenta we're not an emo hunter all due respect to the emo hunters out there. This is the most important part of the playthrough, I can assure you. These are the details that really matter. I gotta stop messing with this. Yeah, it looks sick with a hat. Um, eh, we're gonna bump the head up a little bit. The... Head size runs a little small in Soulsborne games. Looks like that uh, is the case here too. I love this music, by the way. Yeah, that's good. And yeah, we have the uh, classic lineup. We're a military vet. Yep. I'm also excited that this isn't a one-for-one -one copy of Bloodborne, that it's definitely Bloodborne, but also has new ideas, new areas, new surprises for people who know the game well. So I'm eager to see what's in store and just to have fun and explore and probably stumble my way through this. No promises about the quality of my footage here. I've been a competent Bloodborne runner for the last four or five years, but this is clearly a different beast. Uh, no omnidirectional movements, no analog stick control here. This game is designed to be played with a keyboard. I'm playing the game through Steam with the PS5 DualSense controller, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully I don't get rocked too hard. Oh, this is too cool. This looks amazing. Oh, the claws, the blood dripping from his chin. Those chunky pixels, this is so good. That animation is so good. I skipped through this the first time, so this is my first time seeing it. It's so authentic to PS4 Bloodborne, but it's also authentic to the mission. It's, it's, uh, oh my god. 
Oh, the messengers are even scarier. Here, the eyes, the mouths. Oh my god. This is horrifying. This is way scarier than on PS4. This is so cool. Indeed, you have. And here we go. Yeah, I do expect I'm going to be figuring out the controls for a lot of this. Okay. Probably, uh, it actually feels pretty good. I don't think we can go through here. Yeah, circle runs. Oh, okay, square is a slow walk. That's cool. Seek pale blood to transcend the hunt. Okay, light attack and heavy. Oh, nice. That silhouette in the window is perfect. Yeah, this feels, this feels like Bloodborne, a little different. It's a new door. Yeah, it's both familiar and unfamiliar. Okay, so this is, can I break this? No, I cannot. So this is like a secret room or something. I need a key to get in here. And there's the werewolf. Oh, slapped across the room. Okay, okay, you're, you're angry, I understand. I'm kind of getting the hang of this. There we go. Okay, gotta finish him off here. Oh jeez, come come on, I whiffed. <laughs> oh no, he's got a sliver left. Come on, one more karate chop. Got him. A couple blood vials, nice. I get a look at this body. Yeah, this is cool. This is cool. Now, how do I how do I equip my vials? This menu's a little wonky, a little confusing at first. Uh, no, I don't. This isn't what I want. Uh, weapon, attire. Here we go. Quick items. Okay. Pop it in a slot. Okay. All right, we got to go up this ladder. See, right away, Lilith is giving us some new stuff, giving us some new content. Can I? No, can't get in here. I despise medical equipment. Okay. Little bloodborne platforming. Nice. There's our key. So I gotta equip this now. I guess, like I did the blood vial. There we go. So I can open no I cannot cannot open this. Can pick this up. Uh can I do something no. This isn't a mid software game, Terra. All right, so what's the key for here? What's the deal? Looks like I gotta climb down the ladder. Can I slide? No, seems like not. No sliding on PS1. Okay, I can get in this room now. That's what this key's for. Oh, look at this blood trail. What is this? Bullet transfuser. And what might this be? 
Hunter's told the trade's health for bullets. A hunter can play this toy during the hunt to transfuse her own blood. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so this is just an item. So that I can turn my blood into bullets. So I gotta equip this. Alright. Alright, straightforward enough. Some quick items equipped. Uh, is this it in here? Can I open the, the top door, Yusafka's door here? No. She won't talk to me either. Okay. I'm assuming I'm probably going to be figuring out the controls for a lot of this. Probably getting turned around a lot, given the pixel count and draw distances and all of that. Okay, loading screen. And we're outside. Oh, and I'm also playing at 60 FPS. Uh, you can go really low with the frame rate. Uh, you can also encap it and go up to like 240 frames per second. So 60 felt fair i do think the um oh nice oh yeah the fit is coming together i love the way this courtyard looks oh and that gate sound effect unchanged Now, I do think the longer... You can, like, artificially increase the length of the loading screens. I do think I have that option turned on uh, right now, accidentally. Let me see if I can go in here. Yeah. Uh, load limiter. There we go. We don't want that. We don't want the FPS limiter. It's cool. Cool options, but... Yeah, I mean, you can enable that for extra authenticity, but uh, my interest in retro gaming does have some limits. Can I get through here? No. I just want to break stuff. I just want to karate chop everything. This feels genuinely eerie because of the draw distances. These, the, the skybox, the silhouettes too, they're so cool. Okay, here's our sealed shortcut gate, I imagine. Yep. Okay, here we go. It's on. Nice. Oh. Okay. Kind of getting a hang of this. Oh, rally back. Love that rally sound effect. Let's pop a vial. Nice. Oh, God. Rally. Okay. And blood vial. We'll take it. Yeah, the AI movement is quite a bit different. Here's our lever. Looking good. Feeling good. How about these two guys? What's up? How you doing? It's all your fault. Well, that's a little dramatic. There we go. There we go. Smack. 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 We're just slapping this guy silly. Trying to anticipate their movement. Get in that strong strike. I'm just slapping this guy in the face. Come on, you gotta get a sword. Lost my lock on there. Oh, really? I disagree. I don't think that touched me. PS1 hitboxes for extra authenticity. 
There we go. You're done. This was this is fun. This is fun. Yeah, I'm expecting to find ammo in these boxes. I guess it's because of the way the game looks. It takes me back. Oh, that looks sick. The cathedral looks sick. And there's good old Cleric Beast right on cue. I just want there to be like ammo, like bullets in these coffins. There's our buddy Gilbert. Is this our buddy Gilbert? Oh, you must be a hunter. I am indeed. And not one from around here. Nope, either. I come from the year of our Lord, 2022. A fellow outsider. You must have had a fine time of it. Yarnum has a special way of treating you. That it does. Well, I don't think I could stand if I wanted to. But I'm willing to help. If there's anything that can be done. That's quite thoughtful of you, Gilbert. Oh, okay. Some changes to level design here. Okay, maybe there's only... The, the spoken dialogue is only used for certain lines, maybe. Doesn't seem like he actually talks for these lines. Okay. Can I... Nope. Cannot go visit Gilbert. Oh, that lantern's nice. I like the snap, too. Yeah, let's go get ourselves a uh, hunter's weapon. I guess I should probably just save first. I'll save over that initial file. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's go get ourselves a sock cleaver. Okay, here we go. I've been looking forward to this. I love the like texture to everything and, and just the, te the the visual texture here. Everything's kind of raw and jagged. Oh, that looks awesome. The trees, the moon. The balcony's new. That's different. Oh, that's a gorgeous frame. And the soundtrack. Oh my god, this is so good. Here we are. One of my favorite hub areas. This is so cool. Oh, I love this rendition of the music. You got a one on the door. Can't get in. Oh, the shortcut's not here. The little uh, detour, that little side path is not here either. DLC? Okay. A call beyond. Interesting. Interesting item inclusion. Okay. On the fog. Oh, here she is. An abandoned doll. Oh, and here's my little buddies. Oh, look at that. He's a little cane and a little cleaver. The messengers offer you a trick weapon. Now, can I steal both? Can I steal both in this version? I cannot. Okay. And the messengers offer you a firearm. We're gonna go with the pistol. We're gonna keep it classic. I wonder if the one is uh, insight. I bet it's insight. Can I? Oh, there we go. There we go. We're in business. We are in business. Oh, these look good. These assets look good. Oh, yeah. Nice. But how do I transform? How do I how do I open the cleaver? It's not L1. L1 is shoot. I don't I don't know how to transform the cleaver. 
I wonder if I wonder if Lilith just removed transformations entirely. It would be a little bit of a bummer, but I would also understand. Oh, this looks gorgeous. Oh, look at this. The pillars in the in the distance. This is oh, this is so cool. This looks so good. Garmin? No. Kind of vibrant too. The greens and yellows. I I really like this. Oh, I'm even getting a little uh, scripted camera action here. Okay. Uh, Central Yarnum, sure. I think we're ready to roll. Might as well just save again. So we're ready to go. I also don't know if I should anticipate, like, crashes or... I don't know, I'll probably save as much as possible. Uh, let's go through the gate that uh, Gilbert opened up for us. Why not? He was friendly enough to open it. Let's see what's over here. Oh, transition. Okay. No. Nothing over here. I like the uh, scripted camera movement. That's kind of cool. Okay, here we go. Oh, I wanted to parry him. Just kind of weirdly shot him to death. Uh, I don't know that I want to make that drop. Uh, what's over here? I thought I heard another guy. Oh, hello. How's that sock cleaver taste? Ah, I want to get the parry. I'm assuming there's parries in this. I don't. I mean, maybe. Maybe parries aren't in this. I guess I will find out. I'll either get one or I won't. Love that blood vial animation. That's so good. Okay. I'm kind of getting the lock on down, I think. The, the lock on movement. Nice little backstep there. Yeah, it's both familiar and unfamiliar, which I suppose is what I expected. Feels good, though. This is fun. Locked? Where am I here? What? Okay. Can I jump? Can I jump over there? Let's try it. Does it? Let's see if it works like it does in the PS4 game. I kind of double tap. Nice. A monocular. That's clever. That's not an uh, that's not an item I would have expected to have uh, made the jump to the D make. Oh, is this my shortcut? I think this is. Yep, this is my shortcut back to the ladder, back to the clinic. Okay, so do we have a big boy? Do we have a big boy over here waiting for us? Let's get those Molotovs ready. Oh, the Lost Hunter. What is this? Okay. Okay. Well, there's some crazy stun locking going on here. I'm... What is this AI doing? Let me pop a vial. What? What is going on here? What is this? What is this? What is this madness? Oh my god, this stun locking is insane. Look at this. What is this? What is this little dance? Oh man, this this feels I got this feels a little goofy. Okay. Whiffed. And back to the What is this? Oh my god, this is so this is so ridiculous. No parry. I wonder if parry firearm parries are in this. It'd be kind of weird if they weren't. Um can I get a... Oh, jeez. Punishing me for going for the heavy strike. Can I get one? No, I whiffed. Let 
What is going on here? There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh no, have I found out a cheese strategy? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. I just got stun locked out of it. <laughs> oh no. Oh, Lost Hunter can heal too. Okay. Okay. Well, guys, this might be the rest of the Let's Play. This might just be it. Stalemate with this Lost Hunter. Nice. Oh, I depleted my stamina, though. Just burning through these blood vials. This is... Look at this. I, I do not know about this dancing. <laughs> That wasn't a hit. There we go. Oh, God. So I heal, and then I just get stun-locked and damaged again. This is pretty dicey. Okay. Okay. I probably got this now. There we go. Jeez. Oh, that's a cool shot, though. I love that camera pan. Wait, no drop? Nothing? Oh, okay. 1,500. Echoes, that's... that's something. Sweaty clothes! We're a sweaty hunter out crawling through the streets of Yarnum. Let's look the part. Now we're keeping that rumpled hat. Uh... Okay, I guess it's equipped. Oh, this looks sick. Oh, the little cape? The, I love the color! Oh, this is too cool. Okay, so that was worth it. That was worth it. That looks great. Can I... No. A lot of doors. Can't really go in many of them. Hmm. This door's kind of different. No. This is, this is a kind of a familiar stretch, though. This is a damn oh! Oh! No, Let's try these Molotovs. A little bit of room. Oh! Scorched him. Let's try another one. Oh, I love the animations. Look at that carriage model. That's so cool. Blood vial. I think all these doors are just teasing me. Anything over here? No. This was looking familiar for a minute, and now it's kind of not. Oh. What's up? I got a lot of Molotovs. This is, oh my God, four more? Oh, what did I just do there? Did I, maybe I was holding down on the D-pad? Does not open from this side. Okay, now this is all new. This is not in the PS4 game. I have no idea where I am. Now that looks like a shortcut ladder. Uh, well, what's back? This see, I don't even know where to go. I'm already overwhelmed. Uh, does not open from this side. Okay, so that's a shortcut gate. So I guess I gotta go this way. Right. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? What's that item? Is that a skull with a little uh, hunter's hat on it? I wonder if these are supposed to be like the slums of Yarnum. No paved streets here. Oh, I see you. I see you. How about a little cooked crow? Okay, so I have to get into this courtyard somehow. Uh, 
I am starting to feel like I'm I'm starting to get a feel for this though. The movement. Oh, these guys are just asking for a Molotov. Oh, he staggered. Oh, I wanted to hit him. Okay, so I think there's staggers and parries. Maybe visceral. I don't know. I wonder if there's viscerals in this. Oh, here it is. That was pretty easy. What's that? Oh, nice. I like that little cinematic moment. This is cool. Can this burn me? No. I'm really liking these visual settings too. This is uh, definitely my sweet spot with this game. That gate sound effect, it's so good. I am so turned around. Oh wait, I think that's where I came from. Okay, no, 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 I've, I've been through here. So did I just go in a circle? Oh, nope, so I can just keep going straight. Okay, maybe I'm not so confused. Hmm. Oh, how about a Molotov for you? Oh, fail. Uh, oh. That's what the Molotovs are for. It's so frustrating when you die to the crows. Like, you just feel so stupid, no matter your skill level. It's so unsatisfying. Oh, here's another one. Loving the uh, strong attack here, the charged R2. Oh, a bloodstone shard, nice. Okay, all right, so the workshop is in effect. We're gonna be upgrading our cleaver. That's cool. Another tease probably, yep, yep, yep. Okay. These animations are good. I'm so impressed by this. The body language, the blood splatters. Oh, I think there's another crow over here. Yeah. Oh, whiffed. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get the uh, distance down. Like the hitbox distance. I wish I could open the cleaver. Could transform it. Oh, here's another one. No, thank you. Oh, God. Kind of whiffing a lot here. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a rock. This has me on edge, though. This is spooky. This atmosphere is excellent. Uh, a lot of diverging paths, too. The game has given me Molotovs, so I feel like I might as well use them. Now, that looks like it leads away. That looks like that's going to lead to a... A load screen. Okay, so I can pop this gate. Um. Oh, okay, so there's a shortcut. It's coming together. It's coming together. This definitely feels like retro level design too. Like Lilith was adhering to sort of retro level design principles and oh the bell sounds so good yeah this is genuinely creepy I mean it really feels like a horror game that would have come out you know like Silent Hill era horror on the PlayStation 1. I'm a little turned around here. I don't... <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. It's like... That's what I was expecting, too. Like, the draw distances and the sameness with some of these textures. Um, okay. But this is not the ladder that I saw earlier. I don't know if I want to go down there or not. So I have this bridge here. Um, this seems to be leading into a new area, a really dark area too. 
Um, I'm going to go down that ladder because I wonder if this is a dead end. I don't want to... I mean, I'm not going for like 100% completion here. I just want to run around and have some fun, but I do feel motivated to explore. Oh, okay. Welcoming party. Oh, point blank Molotov. Fighting these mobs is pretty fun. I'd love to get a parry. Oh, God. Okay. Let's pop a vial. Okay, so it's it's the um, screenshot button, actually, like select to switch between your quick items. That is if you're playing on a PS5 controller. Uh, oh, wait. This is where I started. Okay. Okay, so had I gone straight, I would have hit this dead end. But instead, I went up those stairs. All right, it's coming together. It's coming together. This does. It feels like a retro video game map. So far, this has felt pretty fresh, too. I mean, it's obviously based on Central Yarnum and inspired by the original from level design, but there's a lot of new stuff here. This is pretty spooky kind of fog just hanging in the air all these abandoned carriages okay another mob love the charged r2 oh hello do you drop bullets no you don't nope I'm thinking these doors are just here for show, probably. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Bloodstone shard, nice. Oh, this is a, okay. A new lantern, interesting. That snap sound effect is so good. I don't think you will. So there's a new checkpoints, that's interesting as well. Okay, I think I know where I am now. So this is, yeah, this is like a mix of, this is like the central bonfire area with the werewolf, the crucified werewolf. Yep. Oh, there we go, the visceral, yes. <laughs> right off the ledge too, that was sick. Okay, okay, so viscerals are officially in the game. So yeah, this is interesting. It's like a mix of original design and new design i guess let's go down here and uh yep here's the mob that werewolf looks gnarly okay these guys aren't aggroing necessarily just this guy we'll take care of him quickly oh okay love the point blank molotovs these guys are pretty angry there we go. Lots of item drops. We got some bullets. We got blood vials. Oh. Is there a dog back here? Yes, there is. <laughs> of course there is. And it's hopping all over the place. As it should. Okay. Let's grab this. Oh. Oh, this is cool. All right, let's fight this troll. Let's do it. Does he want to eat a Molotov? I think he does. And a charged R2. That's all it took. I'm just the moon, the cathedral, the, the just kind of skybox silhouettes. It's so cool. Can I... Can I not shoot this guy? No, I'm just wasting bullets. I gotta go up here and deal with them. Oh, okay. You you don't stun lock, I guess. Ooh, a little cold blood do.
This is so gnarly. Check this out. That's cool. And even though, again, the little scripted camera pan. What? Can I use this? I guess I have to... I don't really know how to use it. I guess I have to equip it to use it. I think I only have the one. Nice. 350. I suppose let's uh, press on. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, cool. The fountain. It's a nice asset. Oh, and again, the camera pan. Really cool. Yep. Got the crow crew over here. Am I out of Molotovs? Still a pretty efficient way to deal with them. More bloodstone shards. Oh, do you hear that? The music box. That sounds amazing. Now let's see, can I talk to them? Uh, I'm tempted to go down here. I'm assuming the dogs are down there, but I don't know. I, I've picked up some bloodstone shards. I mean, I almost have 6,000 echoes. I should probably go back to the dream. Level up. I don't know. Okay, cool. Shortcut. More do. I also just kind of want to keep playing. I kind of want to just keep... Oh, there's that music box again. Oh, yeah, right through here. Gascoigne's daughter. So this area is one for one, pretty much. This is straight out of Bloodborne PS4. Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah, I kind of want to go back to the dream, but I also just kind of want to keep playing. I don't... Oh. Oh, no. I really want to get the firearm parry down. I, I just haven't figured out the timing, I guess. Okay. Okay, cool. So that does work. Got him. Got him. Yeah, they're, they're true to form. The dogs are still very annoying. This, I'm guessing, takes me up to the Great Bridge. Cleric Beast, maybe? Yeah, this area seems one for one. I don't know if there's any surprises here. Oh, another shard. I should probably go back to the dream, but I also really want to fight Cleric Beast. See what a boss is like. Oh, okay. Transition. Is this above the kind of main part of Central Yarnum? Yes, it is. There's the werewolf. I have so many shards. Now, does this lead below? It looks like it does. Cool. I don't think I want to commit to that yet. I'd really like to fight Cleric Beast. I really want to see how a boss battle works in this game. Okay, I hear, I hear something hopping around. Let's equip these Molotovs. Yep. Two werewolves. Okay, here he comes. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. 
I just, I do not quite have the hitboxes down yet. Okay, weird. He kind of froze there. Went down pretty easily. Yeah, I guess transformations just aren't in the game. There we go. Just really sidestep out of the way. Let him go charging. Yeah, that's, that's the way to do it. Ah, whiffed. This AI is unpredictable, you know, somewhat like it is in the uh, real game. Kind of turned around here, honestly. Wait, is this the other end of the bridge? Or is this where I just was? Oh, this is where I just was. Because this is the blood. Yeah, this is the blood from the werewolf. So can't go through there. I don't know, I really want to fight Cleric Beast, but I should probably... Should probably level up first and put these shards into the sock cleaver. I'm also just having fun running around killing stuff. So... <laughs> And, you know, I'm actually curious if areas are repopulating after I leave them. Like, after I get a loading screen. Oh, nice. Oh, it didn't trigger. One for you, and one for you. I think I'm maxed out on blood vials. One for you. It's, all your fault. it's really not all my fault. Um, yeah, I should probably go ahead and save. Hop back to the hunter's dream. I've also been going for almost an hour, so I might, I might uh, hit the pause button here and 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 wrap up this this ep. I guess I'm gonna do this episodically. Hello, good hunter. Hello. I am a doll here in this dream to look after you, honorable hunter. Pursue the echoes of blood, and I will channel them into your strength. You will hunt beasts. And I will be here for you to embolden your sickly spirit. Cool. We would like to channel some echoes. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. A uh, little strength, a little vitality, maybe a couple points into endurance. Oh, oh, okay, so that, that requires 8,700, and I have 74. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's fine. Okay. Farewell. May you find your worth in the waking world. I like that her actual lines, uh, spoken lines, are in here. I do have some do. I might as well... I might as well pop that. Now, can I open this door now? Yes, I can. So it was, it was insight. Cool. 
into the workshop for the first time in a loading screen. Okay. Oh, this looks gorgeous. This looks cool. The carpet, the fire, there's like a real warmth here in the room. Okay, so the different doors require different numbers of insight. That feels like a PS1 era convention. Let's chat with our old buddy Garman. about now but don't, don't think, think too hard about all of this just go out and kill it it's for things. your own good it's for your own good you know it's just what hunters do you'll get used to it okay so it seems like some npcs have a certain number of spoken lines they're not all in the game Okay. Well, I don't know. I've been going for almost an hour here, so I think I'm going to hit the pause button. I don't know. I, I guess I'm doing a Bloodborne D-Make Let's Play. I guess we're just spontaneously doing this. Um, I'm just going to keep playing, but I think I'm going to pause for now. This will be the end of Episode 1, and I'll be back with Episode 2. We'll level up the Saw Cleaver, and I guess go... Go back out into Yarnum and uh, find the Cleric Beast and Gascoin and whoever else is in this game. But this was a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed watching along, and I'll catch you on the next episode.